Welcome to the POU Sakai Lessons Tool Overview. I'm Lane Nordgren, a member of the POU Instructional Technologies team. Over the course of the next few minutes, I'd like to introduce you to the new Sakai Lessons Tool and provide examples of how it can be used to enhance course organization and instructional flow. Early this summer, on June 6, POU Instructional Technologies will be upgrading Sakai to version 2.9. In addition to the many new enhancements of version 2.9, a new tool is being released, the Sakai Lessons Tool. We're excited about this new tool because it provides a significant new way to organize Sakai courses and project sites. Up until now, Sakai sites were limited by a tool-oriented organizational scheme. When a site was created, it was provided with a default set of tools that made up the menu on the left side of the screen. Though instructors could add and delete tools from the menu, it was not possible to easily integrate multiple tools into one page or to create alternative organizational schemes, such as by week, by course topic, or by module. For example, you might want to use a temporal or time-based organization for your course. In this instance, you could set up a separate page for each week of the course. Alternatively, you might prefer to organize your course by topic and create a separate page for each topic. For example, you might organize your Sakai course so that the tool menu reflects the major topics or themes in your course. If you are using Sakai for providing training, you might divide the training up into modules, each with training materials, resources, and assessment components. Regardless of the organizational scheme you develop, each Lessons Tool page can incorporate almost any content required for the unit or task at hand. In this case, the page contains a rich text area for instructions, a video, and a quiz. So the Lessons Tool allows you to incorporate a variety of content and tools into your page, such as rich text and links to other web resources, multimedia such as images, audio recordings, and videos, assignments, quizzes, and forums. In addition, you can add subpages to your page to enable a hierarchical movement through your material. Furthermore, you can optionally define the sequence or pathway through the material, requiring students to complete prerequisites before moving on to the next topic or task. Here's a comparison of a course menu before the upgrade and an updated menu after the upgrade using a topical organization with the Lessons tool. The Lessons tool also provides a way for you to set up student pages for sharing student group work. Each student page is authored independently, though they can all be viewed by the other students. Instructors have the option to add a comment section to student pages so that students can comment on one another's work. Besides reorganizing your traditional face-to-face -face course, you might consider the Lessons tool for blended courses or flipped courses. Here's a mock-up of a blended course organized by week. In week two, for example, the lessons page includes a rich text welcome and instructions on how to prepare before the class, as well as videos, a discussion forum, and a quiz. This next course is an example of a flipped course where students engage with the content out of class and use the class time for interactive discussions. This page contains links to readings, author resources with images, a video, an audio clip, and links to an online discussion forum and a quiz. We hope this overview will interest you in learning more about the Lessons Tool. Instructional Technologies is providing a workshop, the new Sakai Lessons Tool, on Friday, May 2nd from 12 noon to 1.30 p.m. And you can sign up at the workshop registration site. Th see the link at the end of this video for details. You can also schedule a consultation with Instructional Technologies staff by emailing itech at plu.edu. We're happy to discuss how this tool might address your course design needs. And there are several more detailed videos from other institutions that you can view to learn more about the Sakai Lessons tool, an eight-minute Duke video, and a full-length training webinar. After the Sakai upgrade on June 6th, you can begin using the Lessons tool in your courses. If you want to dive in and experiment on your own, add the Lessons tool to your course via Site Info, Edit Tools. When you first enter the Lessons tool, you'll be presented with a basic tutorial as well as links to other resources on the Lessons tool. And don't hesitate to contact the Instructional Technologies team for more information and assistance with the Lessons tool. We're eager to support you.